how bonding. Okay. One last thing I haven't talked about today is uh, is about bonding. So let's go to go to here. So we had a post from a user in our use in our group. Maybe I should always also change a. I also change change a little bit about this. How should I? Edit mode. Why it becomes so difficult to? I want to edit my picture picture. Anyway, okay, I will just leave it here. So I don't know if people can see very clearly. If not, we just see. So I, the last part I want to talk about is the network bonding. Network bonding question. I've been a live U Pro user, a live U Solo user for a number of years. I'm found it uh, to be super reliable. But as it's additional care to carry as well as a couple of other negative factors, I actually don't know what are the other negative factors. But people sometimes don't want to like <laughs> harming a brand. I'm considering using the YoloCast bonding for when I'm using the extreme. What are user honest feedback with the YoloCast bonding? Is it worth the change? I know a lot of people from UK like Glenn, like Steve, like uh, Victor. They use the YOLO box with uh, or other encoder, other switches with a, a live view. And uh, where are the comments? And there are 69 comments, and it's like 800 post reach. So see, let's see how other people think about the uh, about the live view and the the the, the, the YOLO box, YOLO cast network bounding, and also the what is it? Speedify. I see a lot of people mentioned about the Speedify. Let's see. So it's all the real comments. I did not like the pricing model for any of them. And he said, like, basically, he doesn't like Live U solo network bonding. He doesn't like the YOLO cast bonding because uh, for for us, the, it's a subscription. It's a monthly subscri subscription. It's basically more, somehow it's a bit more expensive than Live U per year. But for the... The weirdness for live user like they need a uh, that encoder separately. They have to carry it every time. But for us, it's a it's a building. So he said, I opt to for a DIY DIY option using Speedify and uh, Raspberry Pi. So Paul said, I used Speedify a while ago. It was terrible. Is it better now? Yeah, that's the feedback I've I've been hearing since we launched the same basically since we launched the network bounty. Uh, people, a lot of people, serious streamer don't like Speedify because of uh, this kind. But I don't know what was what like ter in terrible in what ways. But it's it seems like a feedback from a lot of users. Like for using three more not a clip. So, but still, people said they seems uh, have a good ex product experience with it. My background is in IT. I tried Speedify more than a few times. Always got terrible results. That's also Speedify. That's another user. Worst speeds drop frames as compared to non bounded single. I wouldn't trust them. And also, when we build the network bonding, our tech engineering team also their evaluation is the same. I notice this and some primary results vary. Everything so secondary, it's pretty flawless. Okay, let's speak. Let's let's read more comments. Okay, we see the user about us. And the next comment, pri pricing model. I want to also explain the pricing model. It's a, it's a business model. Every business model is uh, different, and their cost is different. The investment is uh, different, and uh, and the result is of course different. Yes, it's expensive. I have not had a one job friends once I started bonding. I have not used anything else. Simplicity is a big plus for me. Some live stream were eight plus hours. Yolobus Pro. I didn't expect we have a Yolobus Pro users also use bonding and so happy user even. The price is uh, it's not cheap. It's a uh, it's a uh, rather expensive. I appreciate that the sharing. And also Darren said Darren said, 
game changer for me, worth every penny. Streaming funerals from many different locations. Yeah, the, we have a lot of funeral users. Like when they are where they are using the product, it's a very remote area, and it's uh, normally not 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 good net internet. How do I go back? I want to check more. Oh my god. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I probably should uh, more. That's the Yoruba thing. Use the. That's the Yoruba spawning five hours plus, not the one job frames. I I don't want to mess this up, so I would just quickly. I've used both, so use both Yoruba Yolocast network bounty and uh, and probably live use solo. Both have been great. Both had the issues as well. Yeah, I do admit sometimes in some areas, but some. Network bonding should be like another crap, but it, the, the result should be good. Sometimes it doesn't show the Ethernet as the source, but rather it shows the dongle, or, or sometimes it doesn't show the dongle correctly. But you, <laughs> it was absolutely mission critical. I would probably go for the library used by most professional. I also mean if you are doing like an NBA game, if you are doing a present inauguration, you can you don't have, but your live is good. We are, if we do at the broadcast level, uh, the Yolo bus is not yet made for broadcast level. Vicky said, I have been using a Yolo Live bonding for over a year in Western Australia. Yeah, Vicky is one of the use, uh, typical user uh, use case in, the, in that region, and which has the weak net internet. And he seems like I go, I go places. I go places live. You can. My experience. Uh, okay, Jeremy made a super long post. Has been that Yolo Live bonding. That's what it says in the marketing material. Well, I don't. I forget. Yeah, our marketing material is your is. Network, YOLO live network bonding to make your live stream unbreakable. That's what, what it says in our marketing material. <laughs> uh, we do have a downside. So one click. Yeah, I think he mentioned also it's about the simplicity, which is uh, critical on YOLO box. You don't need a... a Network bonding device. It's a building. It's a software, and it's a one tap to go network bonding to aggregate all your SIM cards, the USB dongle, and the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet. No config solution to use multiple. I use a stream your youth baseball. I haven't had a one single issue versus my previous continual battle with the Speedify. See, uh, Speedify. I don't want to sound like I'm a comment on our alternative solution or competitor, but it's really true. That's a lot of uh, negative product experience. I also admit that the Yolo Live costs more. There's a reason for cost more because we have big costs. There's a continuous, uh, uh, like we have a deployed servers as many countries or regions as possible. The load of bounty is uh, put on the stream rather than offload to another. It doesn't incompatible. Yeah, this is uh, currently somehow an issue here. The load of bounty is uh, put on the stream rather than offload to another. It doesn't use much, but everything is accumulated. Yeah, everything is accumulated. That means you have a bonding account. The bonding data is uh, is accumulated. If Okay, I have to. Again, the other uh, there's another customer say you if you are doing like very very professional, you go to live view. There's a. The, that's true for a lot of our cases. I also admit. Yeah, basically that's a, a quick, and honest. Like we repost together, we see customer feedback together. Okay.
Gleam said, Spotify in the UK is awful for streaming. But yeah, try Yolocast. No more live you <laughs> solo. Where are we? Where are we? How many network used? So basically, you on a stream you can add up to. We originally thought we can only use the uh, th three SIM cards, Wi-Fi and uh, Ethernet. But one time we used the USB-C. We saw a customer use the USB-C, so we tested. The USB-C can also connect a hub and connect the Ethernet. So you can actually maybe to up to six, maybe five to six. 